Hey everybody, Ed Martin here. I just wanted to come over to the Supreme Court and let you see what's happening. Um, we're back here again where people are, uh, they're putting up barriers to try to make sure that no violence uh, takes place or at least gets to the court uh, from here. Um, it's kind of a crazy world, isn't it, that we're at this point? Uh, I was just here three days ago, and they were, um, you know, they were, there were people coming in and out of these entrances. There was cars parked in these spots, and uh, all that is uh, gone now, so um, pretty incredible. Um, let's see if I can turn this around, at least for a minute. I'm not too, too sure about this. Um, well, I can do a really quick what you need to know. I mean, at this point, we're being primed for what I would say will be a set of uh, staged events. Like um, for those of us that are from uh, St. Louis, they burned Ferguson down uh, pretty substantially after the Michael Brown hoax. Uh, obviously Michael Brown passed away, which is always sad, just like George Floyd passed away. Always sad when someone dies, anyone dies. Every single person made in the image and likeness of God, just like all those babies that are aborted. But, we're gonna be set up here for uh, riots, I would say, protests. It will be funded uh, by groups that we don't know. If you think uh, Zuckerberg would spend $400 million to influence the elections, which is what he spent, I can't, um, I can't even estimate what they, meaning the left, will spend to create chaos that will focus the attention. And as you know, they will be aided by big tech and big government in the, um, in the process, right? So it's pretty daunting, actually. I mean, I think the good news is you're seeing more and more reaction from normal people uh, that they're not particularly threatened uh, by what happened, uh, what the draft decision, but nothing is real yet until it comes out and the decision isn't out. So I think we're in for a, um, you know, the barriers that were put up here, you can see them, uh, they go all the way around the front and the front of the court is, of course, faces the, uh, the Capitol uh, and, you know, I think it's just a warm up uh, for what we're gonna expect. And um, do we have any confidence that big government in the form of the uh, Department of Justice will go about uh, cracking down and stopping things? Do you think that there's FBI agents right now infiltrating the Planned Parenthood uh, sponsored or whoever sponsors it, somebody on the left will be sponsoring it. They'll be having plans to protest and, and cause uh, tumult. And they've already posted the addresses of the Supreme Court justices and their families. So you can, bet that we're not going to have a gov big government help us, I don't think. We're not going to have big media help us, and we're not going to have big tech help. And so we're in for something, um, the great hoax of, uh, of the lies, and Joe Biden continues to lie about it. He's lying about what the, de the draft decision said. He's lying about what the impact would be. And then he's just calling half of America or more uh, extremists because they happen to believe a certain way. All of it is uh, worrying. You can see it's raining. Uh, but what you need to know is you can put up fences, you can put up, uh, uh, you can make plans to uh, fight back, and I don't think we yet know what's coming uh, in terms of the uncertainty, whether it's uh, rioting, whether it's other things. I hope uh, it will turn out differently than we expect. I hope it won't be a summer of, uh, of violence and rioting, but I don't know um, if we can tell yet. So, all right, I better go. I'm getting rained on, my uh, phone is getting wet. Uh, we will talk, let me see if I can pull this back. We will, uh, there you go, we will be uh, in touch again. That's what you need to know. Do me a favor, do me a favor. Uh, like this, pass it on to other people, and uh, share it on all your social media. Talk to you soon.